Hello, Anna. Uh, my name is Lisa. I am 54 and I live in Bristol. I work in a school office and um, that's a whole other video. Education, stress, teachers, support staff being signed off. Yeah, I'll leave that one alone. And I found you by a fluke because last week I typed in Sheffield on YouTube. It's my hometown. I thought, oh, let's have a look at Sheffield. And I found the lady who was speaking, looked like in a bathroom, about COVID-19. I think her husband has MS. And uh, yeah, I found all the other videos. Thank God. It's brilliant to see everybody uh, not believing that this virus is the killer that they're trying to make out it is. Um, originally, back in April, was it? Uh, March, April, when Boris Johnson got COVID, I was really upset. I really believed it. And by a fluke, I came across um, London Real and David Icke interview. And thank God for that. You know, the scales literally fell away from my eyes. Um, I saw everything. I saw everything from, for what it is. Uh, and it's unbelievable because I started reading David Icke books 24 years ago. But I think I've got a reset button in my head because I can only take in so much information and then I get terrified and I go back into, you know, whatever normal life is. Um, so, yeah, in the past 22 years, I've got married and had kids. And my husband's great. He will listen to me with my conspiracy theories. Um but again, we have to live in this world. We have to work. We have to pay bills. We've got kids at school. And then, so yeah, I feel like I, I just put my head in the sand and carry on. And then something like this just wakes me up again. So here we are again. Um, but I want to talk about my daughter. She is 15. And when she was 13... The school asked, sent a letter home saying they were going to have a HPV vaccine. How marvellous it was. And something said to me, no, don't let her have it. She doesn't need it. It's an STD. If I keep her real, if I talk about protect, you know, protecting, protecting herself when she does have sex. I mean, I'm very open with the kids. I tell them everything as it is. You know, the horrors, the good things in life, but the horrors as well. So we talk about everything, very open. Um, and then, so I said no to the school. I said I wrote to the school and said no, I didn't want to have the vaccine. And then on her 14th birthday, the NHS sent her a letter asking her to come and see your GP on your own. You don't need to bring your parent. And I thought, yeah, I wanted to be independent. Let's do it. So she went on her own. And she came home and said, Mum, I really want to have the HPV vaccine. The nurses told me how good it is. I was a little angry and I made an appointment and we went back together to see the nurse. And um, she convinced me that it was a very good vaccination. It cured a lot of um, head, throat cancers. And they were even going to start giving it to boys as well, not just girls. So I let her have the vaccine. And she had the booster a few months later. And then since then, because she's coming up for 16 now, we've noticed that her periods are very bad. They're very irregular, which they weren't before. She has terrible headaches, which she never had before. Um, she faints and it's, it's scary because literally she goes green and she stumbles and she's down. She's like a sack of potato. She just goes down. And this never happened before the vaccine. Um, so I started to do some research and I found a Facebook page um, of hundreds of parents who are against it and the horror stories of what's happened to their girls. Some have been made very ill by it. One girl, she wrote a fantastic letter to her school head teacher 
begging him not to let this vaccine carry on. Um, I found a professor who advises that you give them a certain mineral water every day because the silica flushes out, helps to flush out the aluminium that was in the injection. Um, and also she's on um, flaxseed oil and, certain, and a multivitamin, which seems to have helped a lot. And obviously I try and get her to eat as much fruit and veg as I can. So thanks ever so much, Hannah, for letting us all vent our fears and information. And I'm so glad you're all out there. Keep it up, you know, let's keep talking. And no, I don't wear a mask and I haven't been challenged apart from the bank where she was behind complete solid glass. And I said, I'm sorry, I've got a condition. And she said, OK, but she was behind glass. Hilarious. OK, thank you. Bye.